What is going on my people? How is everybody doing and how is everybody prevailing in today my people? Welcome back to another video. Okay, and I got a very special video for you all today. So my people, I'm going to be showing you all how to make the one and only Jason Kidd. Alright, so as you can see, this is this is from the 2001-2002 uh, Nets. Jason Kidd, as you can see, 94. One of the best point guards. I think he's what, top five and assists he, he might, honestly might be top four top three but if not i know he's top five in all time in assists okay so as you can see jason kidd one of the best point guards to ever do it he's a really great player so as you can see right here right the only thing that jason kidd has is the driving layup he wasn't a dunker or none of that so the driving layup is what he had right the mid-range shot is there and the three-point shot is definitely there that's amazing and he got also got some post control, so that's really, really cool. You could definitely play in the post. Passing is ridiculous, my people. The passing, it was always great with Jason Kidd. 98, it's gonna be hard to get that 98, so I'm, so I'm gonna just get, go to a sweet spot that I know that's gonna be good for this build. Um, speed with the ball is good, ball handling is good, and also, what I've been hearing is that all you need is a 75 speed with the ball, so I'm probably not even gonna go to no 94 on this build. The defense is also great. So as you can see, this is Jason Kidd is great. He was a great defender and he could rebound. You see, he got that 75 defensive rebound. Triple double machine. Speed is amazing as well. Strength is there and the vert is also there. So we're gonna go to the mob play build and make the one and only Jason Kidd. All right, my people. So we in the mob play build, you already know. And first and last name, Jason Kidd, point guard, right hand, and jersey number is five, my people, all right? So you wanna go to 6-4, then you want to go up to 205, and then you want to drop that wingspan at 6-8, because that's Jason Kidd's actual wingspan, all right? So, I want to go with the physicals first, because as you can see, he had great physicals, my people, all right? His speed was ridiculous, and everything else as well, right? So, 90 on the stamina, that's the sweet spot for all the builds, right? The vert, just go to a 70. He had an 82, but we're just gonna go 70. The strength, you wanna go 70 on the strength. All right, he was strong. And then the acceleration, he had a 90 plus on speed and acceleration, but to be honest, I feel like the sweet spot is going to be right here. Okay, this is gonna be the sweet spot right here. All right, so now, go 70 on the rebounding, and then the offensive, he had a 45, so we're gonna go 45. The block was a 30, so don't don't put none on the block. He had a 96 still, okay? 96 on the still. Let me see. So what do? Okay, so we could just go 95, and then the perimeter defense was a 94, right? So by going 94, that's gonna give us that pick dodger, right? So. This is already looking like a really good build, and he had interior defense, my people. So max that out all the way to 67. Or let me see, 67. Yeah. So this is all we're gonna do. So we get 25, my people. All right. This is looking amazing. So speed with ball, just go 75. All right. So if you look at Uncle Demi's videos too, he's been speaking about that. Big shout out to Uncle Demi. He said that a 75 is like the sweet spot on the speed with the ball because if you go any higher it, it doesn't really make any sense to waste attributes right um so jason kidd had a 94 on the speed with ball and ball handling was a 93 so i don't think we really need to do that my people i think what i really want to do is at least go to an 85 okay an 85 so we could get at least gold quick first step uh pass accuracy i think the sweet spot will be 92 okay so this is what we're gonna do this is all we're gonna do my people for this build all right so we're gonna keep the 75 speed with the ball we're gonna go 85 so at least we can get that quick first step okay i don't really care about the tier threes i'm gonna be honest i really don't um so now we go into the shooting category so he had an 80 free throw right so we're gonna go 80 on a free throw the three point shot was a 74 right so we're just gonna go at least 70 let me see if you go 74 uh we just go 70 and then we'll just go 80 
on the mid-range shot and then we can literally go let me see mid-range shot 78 okay let me see my people i think this is how we're gonna have to rock with this build 86 so no pose control let me see something um 80 okay so we're still gonna be able to get that 80. the pose control is kind of low 67 okay so okay this build is looking crazy this build is looking crazy the, the passing is there the ball handling is there everything is looking good for this jason kid build my people okay i like it if you don't want to go here right let's say you just wanted to go 82 then you could go with the 80 midi you know and then you could probably just go something like this okay i think this will be the best bet right here my people for this jason kid the defense is there you're locking up you're throwing dots okay you're handling the rock great you're being able to shoot the three wide open mid-range shot is going to be there as well i like it i like this jason kid but i like it a lot so let's continue right so shot creating and playmaking right so first thing i'm going with is extreme clamps and then you can go maybe team rating boost team rating boost or maybe team takeover boost it's really up to you this would be perfect right here so let's see what this build comes out to be this build is incredible so as you can see a two-way inside the arc maestro you have not seen any build like this my people nobody has this build i promise you a two-way inside the arc maestro yes jason kid let's go let's let's get it rocking so let's test this build all right so we only get 13 here but it's all good so i will go with let me see what the highest one is so i will call the acrobat right go fast switch go fearless and then you can also go hmm so we can't get that all right so maybe go post spin technician and then maybe back down and then you can go maybe i don't even know my people i'll go giant slayer right here all right so, so this is what i would do shooting you want to go green machine uh call your blinders claymore and silver midi magician volume shooter catch and shoot or oh, just on bronze and then you know what i'll go call the specialist just go ahead this is what this is what i would do okay you can put whatever badges you would like but this is what i would do playmaking you already know there's nothing there to explain and go ahead quick first step i'm gonna get bail out at least here Hyperdrive is great. I'm going gold. Come on now. This is freaking Jason Kidd. Clint Breaker. You could probably get it. Old handles for days. It's really up to you what you want to do. But just to get this video out the way, uh, let's go with. I don't think any floor general. I'll probably go gold here and then maybe some ankle break or something like this would be cool. You know, you can't go wrong with this. I think this would be dope. Now defense, come on now. Uh, you wanna go clamps, of course. I will go pick dodger on gold, workhorse bronze, menace on gold. Now this is gonna open this up, right? So glove, you want glove, and then you can do challenger. And this is what you can do. There's rebound chaser and anchor as well that you can get, but I think this is this is all I would care for. Let me see something. Yeah, I think all I would care for is like this, honestly. I would just go crazy like this. This would be my setup right here, all right? So y'all let me know what y'all thought about this build and until next time, much love.